Hey folks, it's Matt, and I want to talk to you about computer vision on Azure, or Azure AI Vision as it's currently called. Okay. Now I'm going to teach this to you in a little bit of a different way. I'm going to show you something called Polyglot Notebooks, which is a data science extension in VS Code that lets you run .NET code inside of you know a Jupyter Notebook kind of environment like you could with Python code. Okay, so a little bit of a different setup, but you're going to see some interesting things, uh, and so I hope you learn something. Here I am in Visual Studio Code, and I have the Polyglot Notebooks extension installed. And this is a set of cells that I can run along with, you know, Markdown. So here's some sample Markdown and some, some sample code. Now this code here actually goes out and it imports a couple of NuGet packages. So Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services Vision, Computer Vision, and Newtonsoft JSON. So when I run this, it actually goes out and it fetches those packages. And we see here it's got 7 of 1 of Computer Vision and 1303 of Newtonsoft JSON, just like I'm doing a NuGet package restore from Visual Studio. Next, I need to have some using statements so I can work with these things. So these are all in Microsoft Azure Cognitive Services Vision, Computer Vision, and then inside of that models uh, has some things as well. Now, in addition to that, I have co uh, collections generic and system IO because I'll be working with files and lists and things like that. So run that, and now uh, the next part is I need to authenticate with Azure. I need to tell it who I am, and I have a Cognitive Services resource that I've already created. And so I need to actually declare what my endpoint is. Well, I can find that in the Azure portal. And then I need to provide one of my two keys or the Azure AI vision key. Now, this key has been deactivated by the time you see this video, uh, but you can get your own and you can, you can make your own calls at fractions of a cent per call. So really good stuff. Run that. And now I can create an Azure, an API key uh, service client credentials and give it my key and then create my computer vision client, and then tell it what endpoint to talk to. Now, you'll notice that this is using target type new, so this is actually running .NET 7, um, so we can use almost all of the latest and greatest uh, C-sharp features inside of Polyglot Notebooks, which is awesome. So, now that I've been able to authenticate, I'm gonna open up my image, and we're gonna send that to Azure, okay? So, I have this image, uh, it's called Jester Keyboard, this is my dog when he was a puppy, uh, sweet little Jester. And I'm going to send this to, uh, to Azure AI Vision and see what it uh, thinks of it. Now, you'll notice some notes in here called Azure Cognitive Services. Microsoft recently rebranded all of this stuff. Um, it's now Azure AI Vision is what we call computer vision. Um, but you'll see some, old, some of the Azure Cognitive Services labels still around, including in my samples here, just because it's a relatively recent fix. Next thing we need to do, do is we need to tell Azure what parts of the image we're interested in, what things are of interest to us. So there's a lot of different things in here, brands, categories, colors, objects, etc. Uh, I have them all uh, enabled right now. Each one of these increases the cost of a call slightly because it's doing more things. It also increases the time it takes to analyze it, especially when you're doing tags. Um, that will uh, increase the time significantly. Uh, but it's still very fast. So I'm gonna say, hey, I want all of these things. These are all the things I care about on an image. And now I'm ready to actually go out and call that input. So I'm gonna say, hey, go out and call Azure. I wanna get a, get an image analysis variable called analysis. I wanna read my file into is an image stream. And then I can say, hey, I wanna analyze the image in the stream. I can also give it a URL to something on the internet and it will an analyze it that way. But this is just a stream from a local file. So it's gonna go out. And boom, it's done. In 1.2 seconds, it analyzed the image. Um, and we can see it, there's this really complex looking result here. This is Polyglot Notebooks showing me the whole uh, properties on this image analysis object. We can see it's got all these different properties. Uh, you can poke around with this and see what's in here if you want, just like you could with the debugger in Visual Studio. But we're gonna take a look at these in a more individual basis here. So first thing I want to look at is the description. The description on the image analysis result tells us what it saw. And we can see it has some tags. We'll talk at the tags in a second here. But it also tells us that it has an image caption. And this image caption is a dog sleeping on a desk. Now for this image that we just sent it, that's a really, really, really good uh, caption to give us, right? Like I, I'm actually honestly very impressed with that. So that's the main thing we get is that caption. We also have things like the tags that are an image. And tag is basically, hey, here's what I think might be in your image in some place. And it gives you a confidence in each of these tags. So we see for this one, um, the, the highest tag is indoor. We're pretty certain we're indoor. 
We think that there's a computer, a computer keyboard, a personal computer, an input device, a desk, a dog, computer hardware, output device, electronic, all these things. You can see a lot of these things are just things that Azure uh, found. Now, the thing I really want to focus you on with Azure AI Vision is this is not a computer vision model that I trained myself. This is using deep learning and pre-trained models hosted on Azure to take a look at my image in 1.2 seconds. Well, probably less than that, honestly. A lot of that was overhaul for, uh, overhead from Polyfet Notebooks. Um, but it, in a fraction of a second, it goes out there and it looks at my image and it's never seen this before and it's able to tell what's in the image with a pretty good degree of accuracy, honestly. I'm, I'm always a little shocked at what it can find. Sometimes it's wrong, but it, not always, not usually. Uh, you can get some information about the colors in the image. So here I can see I've got the dominant color in the foreground is brown and in the background is brown. Uh, brown and black are the do dominant colors. Uh, I get a hex code of the accent color um, and then it's not a black and white image. So that's the Im information I get there. Uh, the image analysis adult. So there's adult, racy, and gory content. Uh, so adult would be like actually, you know, pornographic content. Racy is, you know, suggestive, skimpy clothing, that thing. Gory is somewhat self-explanatory. Very much not so. Uh, though surprisingly, it did say, hey, there's a 22% chance that this is a gory image. So uh, I'm not sure what it's thinking about there. That's the highest score I've ever seen for that, honestly. Um, but generally, it's pretty reliable for these things. Uh Last thing here that I want to show you before I show you an application that uses this technology is you can detect objects with bounding boxes in your image. So thinking about my image up here, you can send this to, to Azure and it says, hey, I found a dog right here. I found a display right here. I found a display right here, a keyboard right here. And so it finds things in your image and it tells you where they are. So here, it found a computer keyboard, a display, another display, because there's two displays here, and a dog. And it gives me the bounding box, the x, y coordinates, and the width and height for each one of those. Also gives me confidence scores, so you can see, while it's right for all of these, it's really not as certain about the keyboard, probably because it's obscured and at an odd angle the way I took the picture. Uh, but it was able to tell me what it found in my image, and so that's really cool. So we're going to switch over. We're going to take a look at an application I built that I used to demo this stuff, uh, and we'll see kind of how that works, All right? So this is a uh, automating my dog with Azure Cognitive Services, just talking about all the things that Azure Cognitive Services or Azure AI now can do um, that my dog does. And so what I'm going to show you of this application, you can find more examples of this on my YouTube channel, uh, but what I'm going to show you here is I'm going to give it the exact same picture that we just saw and it's gonna analyze it. So that made the same call that uh, I showed you in Polyglot Notebooks. And it's giving me back information about adult, racy, gory. Uh, these numbers are slightly different, which is interesting to me. Uh, oh, I guess it is a slightly different image. So yeah, different image, but very similar. Uh, there's the accent color it found, the colors, the bridge. So I, here you can see, I'm able to take this information in an application. In this case, it's a chat application where I'm interacting with an AI agent and it's able to kind of format it and tell me what it found. But you can you can imagine, maybe you might want to look for a specific tag. Like in an earlier application version of this, I looked for like, is the thing that we tagged, is it a squirrel, is it a rabbit, is it a, a dog? If it is, the, my, my pretend dog would pretend to bark at it. Uh, I do weird things with my time. Uh, categories. Categories are interesting. There's just, uh, what, uh, 16 or so of them, something like that. Um, you can see them on Microsoft Learn, uh, but that tells you basically the, the types of things that are uh, that are present. Uh, and it says, hey, I'm pretty sure this is, this is a screen image. Now, here's the image of the objects list. And you can see here, monitor, display, terrier, computer, keyboard. So, hey, knew my dog was a terrier. He is a, a Cairn terrier. So, yeah, that's right. Uh, but you can see I actually rendered the bounding boxes in this image. And you can see the actual overlay here for all the objects that were detected. In this case, it found these four things. So we see them right here overlaid in the image. This is really helpful if you want to see not only what's in your image, but what's what's there. So I love this stuff. Uh, you know, you're probably not going to be spending your time automating a dog or <laughs> making a strange chat application like this. But you can see that maybe giving your family photos or giving images around your office or what's outside or something like that might have some merit. 
you know, if a user uploads an image, you can uh, automatically generate a caption for accessibility if the user didn't uh, uh, provide a caption on their own. And you do all of this at just fractions of a cent per call that you make. It's really, really, really affordable. It's really good. It's really fun and, and easy to work with, honestly. So that's Azure AI Vision. Um, if you're curious about this, give me a subscribe because I'm actually uh, pleased to announce that I am going to be creating a course with LinkedIn Learning uh, releasing in the next year in 2024. So I'm really excited about that. Stay tuned for more announcements on that, but uh, uh, should be a lot of fun and I hope you enjoy anything you do with AI. So happy coding.